this is a key I think with guys that actually really get good at this is they really want to improve themselves more than they want to be good with the women. You can either be out there going a night game for the rest of your life yes. and getting laid one night after another, but that's only so, so satisfying. If you're becoming more powerful as a man, stronger as a man, more confident as a man, and then you draw women in because of that, that's what it's really about. That naturally attracts them anyway. So, yeah, what's, I, I, this is the way I looked at it, basically. I think you've hit the nail on the head there, by the way. I looked at it like, and it was, it was kind of uh, an epiphany, if that's a word, moment. I had an epiphany one day, and I just thought, right, I've got two options, to get easy lays mm. um, and regress as a man. Not regress so much, but not stay at the same level as a person. Um, Go out most nights, it's fun, it, it's sort of whirling the time away sort of vibe. Or I've got the other option of putting some real hard work in uh, into myself and being a real better guy that most girls would, would find in, look at me and would go, the interesting guy, I wanted to spend time with him as, as soon as they met me, within 10, 20 seconds. And that's the feeling I got from day game, where that came across straight away. There was no cheating the system you had to be your best self and to this day if i've had a rubbish day if i've had a rubbish week so say i've just been like inside lazy i've just t watched stupid youtube videos all day not not read anything not improved myself in any way not put any work into myself um i'd go out the next day and it shows i'm not really satisfied with myself and the girls just feel it they, they feel it in every which way that you mm -hmm. you're you're giving out those emotions and first and foremost I'm, I'm very critical of myself so if i've not read like a new book a, a week perhaps or even a chapter one chapter from a book that's made me go and that's not much to ask in a week that's that's opened my eyes up to a certain way of thinking that perhaps i wasn't privy to pr previously and just certain other things in life that a new experience, a new challenge. And when I do those things, like I was learning tennis in London recently and I hired a coach properly to teach me. And when I do those things, I just, I approach women and it's a breeze. Mm. It's a breeze to just get along with them. And the reason for that is they're feeling you. You're the same person. In fact, I've looked worse and I've attracted better women and I've looked, tried to look my best and my sharpest in a suit and I've had a bad week and I've attracted not great women. And you, you know, it, that's a great point as well, I think most guys miss out on is, what sort of women do you wanna attract? You know, I happen to attract very cool girls uh, who lead very cool lives when I'm being a cool guy get good at letting go, letting go of the outcome, being a different outcome, the faster results can show up in your life, the easier results can show up in your life. The best analogy I've ever come up with is the way you should approach someone during the day is imagine if they just um, drop their wallet on the floor and you've picked it up. And in that moment, you're not going to run over and go, hi, sorry, um, can I just give you this back? Would that be okay? No, you're going to feel like a million dollars for doing that. And you're going to feel so confident in that moment that she's going to love you. You're going to go up to her and go, hey, sorry, you just dropped your wallet. And you want the whole world to hear it. 